Hey guys, what's up? Brian All here, and today I have an intro to keyframing or like a photo slideshow tutorial. So, um, this is what your final result's gonna look like. Uh, hopefully, it's not that fast. Those are a little bit too fast, but uh, I just did this in like two seconds so I could show you guys. So, um, one more time without me talking. So, yeah, as you see, it gives the pictures uh, more movement and it's less boring. So, uh, first thing you're going to do is start a new, get a new project going, and I already have mine here, so I'm just going to drag these into here. And when you drag them into Final Cut, the default time is usually around 10 seconds. So uh, I just press Shift-Z so I can get the whole uh, timeline viewed, and then I press B because I need to crop these down a little bit because it's too long. No one wants to look at a picture for 10 seconds. So um, I, press, I just press B to get the little cut tool, as you see, and then I pressed A again to get the, uh, the pointer back. And then I'm just going to press in here to delete them. And then this is what it would look like without any keyframing or anything. And it's just really boring, no movement. And uh, keyframing is really easy. So the first thing you're going to do is in your viewer, uh, just press Command minus so you zoom out so you have room to work with. And then on the very first frame of your first picture, press Control K, not Command K, Control K. And then let's say we want to zoom this out into the left I guess you would say so um, it's gonna start off here and then we're gonna go to the very last frame and that would be this one and we're gonna press control K again and then just move it I made this a little bit too big here move it to where you want it to kind of finalize so we're gonna move it like this and then that'll make it a nice nice movement there you see nice and smooth and then for this one just gonna do the same thing. It, it's it's this easy. Control K again, and we're gonna do a little bit of a uh, a pan action here. And I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so we can see the whole bridge. And uh, then we're gonna go to the last frame and press Control K again, and just move it over. And that's how easy it really is. And then just maybe add a cross dissolve here, just to give it a nice little dissolve and then that's really that's it uh... shift z in my viewer so you guys can see the uh... the full thing here and that's the final result so hope you guys like this if you guys want to get deeper into keyframing just send me a message or uh... comment on this also you can kind of do a fade in or fade out by pressing the p for the pen and just doing that or you can do it in your effects i just like to do this because i can control it more so yeah, there's your final thing. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, subscribe. See you guys.